Hello everyone, welcome back to Art a la carte. This video I'm going to show you a really fun but challenging thing that I do to practice drawing hands. And that is to take the alphabet done in American Sign Language and draw every single hand shape for that. And by doing that, you're going to find that you will draw your hands in just about almost every position imaginable. That's decent. <laughs> If you don't know American Sign Language, you can easily get a chart to reference different hand positions for each letter. Um, but what I went ahead and did is very quickly, as I start each new letter, you'll see my hand kind of pop up with that letter. Um, some of them are hard to get the right angle. My camera's actually recording this face down, and when you sign to someone, your hand is you know, out in front of you. So some of them were hard to get my hand in the position that you would see them, but you kind of get the idea. I've done this challenge several different times. The first couple times it took me a couple of different sittings to get through all of the letters. Um, this time I did it in under 40 minutes, got every single one down. Now I'm not focusing on really a lot of super hyper detail or finishing inking them in or and definitely not coloring them. On the first two I think I did a nice little outline around them and then decided no, I'm not gonna worry about outlines. I'm just going to go ahead and just draw them out. I'm using a colored pencil to do this, but you don't have to. You could use just a regular pencil or even an ink pen if you want to. The point of this is just to get practicing hands and fingers in different shapes and angles, and I love this practice. And it also helps me brush up on my American Sign Language. If you're able to memorize every letter in this alphabet, you could have a difficult yes, but you could have a conversation with someone who speaks American Sign Language. You're gonna notice that some of the drawing positionings I have are from a different angle than the ones that I am showing you in the reference. Um, again, that's just because it was really hard for me to bend my hand around underneath the camera, but you'll see it's, it's still the same letter. The only one I think that I messed up on um, when I was editing this was the letter S. I think I, kind of, I think I had the thumb in the wrong position. So if you want to, you can double check that out. I'm curious as to how many of my viewers out there um, actually speak American Sign Language. I know there's a couple of you guys that have told me that you have. So I've never taken like any formal classes with it, but I was able to have like a conversation with someone who spoke American Sign Language once and it was just super amazing to be able to do that. So I encourage you, if you ever have an opportunity to learn a different language, whether it's American Sign Language or an uh, actual audible language, um, definitely take that opportunity to do that. Um, you don't even have to be really good at it. I just find that you can connect with people so much if they just see that you're attempting to learn their language. Another fun thing you can do with this project is to take a word or maybe even your name. It also makes a really fun gift to give to someone.
If you do this challenge or create a word by drawing out hands in the American Sign Language, we'd love to see a picture of that. So make sure to tag me in your photos if you post them to Instagram or Twitter. We'd love to see them. I'll also leave a link to my Deviant Art account where I'll have a picture of this finished piece. So if you want to check the hands out in a little bit more detail, you'll notice at the beginning of the alphabet, the hands were a little bit larger and nicely spaced. And as I started getting down towards the end of the alphabet, it was running out of space and I really wanted to keep all of the hands on the one piece of paper. So they kind of got a little squished in and overlapping a little bit, but it still looks pretty cool. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in this video. If you enjoyed this type of video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're brand new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. I post new videos three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays, sometimes Fridays. Well, as always, thanks for drawing with me. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.